Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about noise treatment. We got to put that word treatment in quotes though, okay? Because there's really no such thing as treatment for noise, okay? Not in the sense that we think about absorption and diffusion treatment. Completely different. Science, one's vibrational acoustics, noise, one's airborne energy, wave and ray. Completely different, okay? So there's no such thing as noise treatment. There's no freestanding or wall hanging units that you can use to stop noise. So people think, well, I got this wall between me and the neighbor, so I'm gonna put a panel here to stop the noise from the neighbor. It's just, it doesn't make any sense to look at that and go, hmm, oh, well, I'll put some more panels. Okay, well, now it's foolish, okay? Noise is like water. It finds the weakest link and it goes through that. It can be the tiniest hole. Those of you that work on cars, I used to work on my car when I was younger and change the oil. Remember that oil plug, the drain plug? It had that gasket on it, plastic gasket, neoprene or whatever the material was. That gasket had to be perfectly clean. The, uh, cl the area around the threads had to be cleaned. It had to be a very, very tight fit. You couldn't have a piece of dirt, a metal filing, or anything, you know, in that gasket because it would drip. Same with noise. Same with noise. Noise goes through, around, over, under, everything. It's like water. It finds the weakest link. Barriers are a structure that you build between the noise and the source of the noise. You, the receiver, and the source. It's called a barrier. Barrier is the shell against noise. Think of turtle shell. It's the shell against the elements, against noise, okay? All noise measured for frequency and amplitude. We gotta know what we're fighting. We gotta know where it lies on the audible spectrum, because that's what we're trying not to hear. And amplitude, how strong it is. Because the strength determines density, thickness, construction methodology. There's numerous variables, okay? We also have to time study our noise. We usually do seven days. So you get a complete noise map of the week. Because when we look at the data and we do the barrier design, we have to design for the loudest day. The day that has the greatest amplitude and the lowest frequency. Usually those two go together. And the reason for that is, is because every barrier of material that you use is dependent on the frequency and the amplitude of noise. You don't use mass loaded vinyl to stop a 40 Hertz wave. Wrong material, not applying the right material. So every material's frequency and amplitude dependent. The construction methodology is also frequency and amplitude dependent. There's a big difference in barriers that are addressing noise below 100 and noise above 100, both in thickness, densities, and materials. Noise is complicated. I know the industry has tried to make it simple, not, I don't think, with the goal of educating, because <laughs> it's so simple people don't get anything about noise. They think a panel you hang on the wall will stop noise. That should show you where the level of knowledge or ignorance, if you will, on noise is. Noise is complicated. We build budget, we do new builds. And noise is always an issue. We look at the budget. And if I don't see a three or a four to one ratio between noise costs and treatment costs, I send it back for re, re, uh, rebidding and relooking because noise is expensive. Just the, the amount of materials you use. Most good rooms that are critical listening environments have walls that are eight to 12 inches thick. It's expensive. Four walls and the ceiling if it's on a concrete slab. So that's a lot of material in an average size room. So. Noise is very expensive, three, four, five times greater than absorption and diffusion inside the room. So beware, 
There's no such thing as noise treatment. You, noise is a permanent construction. It is a build. So you guys that are renting in, in condos and stuff, it's going to be a little harder for you. Because there are no things you can do that you can't take, that you can take with you. It's all permanent construction. Noise treatments, no such thing. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.